Hi everybody, Brad Brackett with KBS Coatings. We're back at the KBS Coating Shop. Uh, we're talking about these real bad problems we have in the auto industry at the pinch weld seams and get this rust at the bottom of the door. We're gonna run through our system sampler. It's got our three-step system in here. So let's go ahead and get the process started. The first thing we need to do is, is start off with our safety. So let's get our gloves on and definitely put our safety glasses on before we get started. So, you know, with the three-step system, it's an eight ounce, eight ounce kit. So you get eight ounces of the of the KBS Clean, which is your concentrated cleaner degreaser. It's water soluble and biodegradable. And then you also get an eight ounce of the rust blaster metal prep. That's your second step. And then an eight ounce of the rust seal. And we have 10 different colors of that. It's self leveling. You can brush it, roll it, or spray it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get started and show you the process here. So, you know, of course we get in there, uh, knock off any loose scaly stuff that we want with the with the uh, scraper blade, get off any of that flaky loose stuff there, and run it down that seam, make sure there's nothing in there. And then of course we can take a wire wheel, a DA, uh, whatever you like, you know, regular handy old just regular wire brush, and then just get in there and, and knock off all that loose scaly flaky stuff, you know, so we can get that off there and give a good profile to the metal. We're getting the aqua clean, so we've we've mixed it down five parts water, one part cleaner inside this prep bottle. And then what we want to do is then we get in here and start pump spraying it on so that we can get it moist and get the, you know, what this is going to do is get off any grease or grime, finger marks or impurities that's on there that's going to create us an adhesion issue. So what we want to do is just saturate the substrate with it so and get some moisture on it. And then what we'll do. So I've taken a scotch Brite pad, cut it in three equal amounts, and then we'll just get in there and we'll work it around. And you can see right away, it's taking off that, that old grime that's on there and that rusty residue. So it is a very hot product. Never use it by itself, folks. You always want to at least use it one to one. Never use it by itself. Uh, five to one when you're prepping stuff like this is great. Uh, clean your motor with it. Uh, you can ten to one clean your vinyl siding, so all kinds of different things to do with the aqua clean. So what we've done was, you know, we've taken our aqua clean, we've kept it moist on there about that twenty minutes or so, worked it around with our Scotch Brite pad. So now what we want to do is rinse that off so we can get that grease and grime off. Of course, you know, you can put it in a bucket of water and get yourself a scrub brush and scrub it on there like that. You know, that's no problem. You can put it in another prep bottle if you like. The whole thing is keeping it moist the whole time so it doesn't get dry because the product has ate off any contaminants on there. So you know, by the time we keep it moist and then rinse it. You know, we're getting all that stuff to come off of there. So what we want to do with this product is pump spray it on that, on that metal and then keep it moist on there about a half hour. And the thing is with this is when we keep it moist on there, it keeps the octane up so it's eating that rust off of there. It's prepping the metal and etching it and getting that contaminants out of there we can't see with our naked eye so they can get a lot better adhesion. The other thing, rust blast keep your flash rust back for 30 days. So what we want to do is get it down in that seam, and that's the thing, you know, this is water-based, so it's going to leach down in there and etch that rust out of there. You know, there again, just instead of doing some type of media blasting with SAM or walnut shells or plastic or something like that, we're just using a chemical. So we could work all four doors at one time, you know, we could do this process of aqua clean and rust blast on all four doors within about an hour, okay? And then what we'll do is keep the rust blast moist on there about a half hour. And then we'll come back and we'll rinse it with water. So, so now we've gotten this all nice and clean and dry. And you can obviously see, you know, what we've gone through as far as what's already missing, as far as the rusty residue, how the products have already got that off of there. So, you know, we blew it dry. Of course, you know, we could use a heat gun, a hair dryer. We could use a space heater or something like that, blow a little uh, hot air across it. And, you know, what we're worried about is all that moisture that's left down in that seam. So we'll do all four doors like this. And then what we'll do is we'll wait until tomorrow and then we'll come back and we'll put our coating on. We want to make sure there's no moisture left in the door. Uh, we want to make sure we don't drip any sweat or water or anything into it. So what we'll do, it is all, uh, all stir, no shake. So we'll just go ahead and 
get the can popped open let you see the consistency of it this is our off-white of course you get all that stuff inside your kit there okay let's get our stir stick out and we'll give it a stir there again all stir no shake the shaking what it does is it puts air bubbles into the product and it won't lay out for you so all we want to do is just stir it up and you'll see on the bottom of it that there is a little chunky stuff where the solids have settled out so just take a few minutes stir it up whip it up and then the other thing we'll talk about is we never want to paint out a can and the reason is is when the lids off uh, it's catalyzing the product and if we take a brush and paint out of it we're forcing air into it so it's basically like a double whammy for the product it'll go bad on you faster so what we want to do is basically stir it up the best we can right away take a few minutes and there again you can see what type of consistency the off-white is there and then what we got a couple little scoops here what I like to do is you can just get right inside the cup with it and it goes a super super long ways what I like to do is work with what I call a dry brush guys if you're putting more than say a quarter inch of paint on the brush at one time you're putting on way too much and there again you know this what I like to do is I start on the inside and work out and you can see how it covers even though it is it is our off-white it does cover very well so we'll take a few minutes here and we'll put us a nice slick coat on you know the rust seal can be put on any type of metal, wood, concrete, fiberglass. You know, this little kit around $20, that, that'll give you that 12 and a half square feet, so easily do four bottoms of your doors. The rust seal, after it's dried to the touch about an hour and a half, uh, you can literally top coat it with anybody else's product. So you can get an aerosol can, get the exact color of your vehicle, and then put right to the top of it, it will uh, wet bond or chemical bond, so it'll basically become one, and that way you don't have to scuff it. But what we're gonna use is our Diamond Finish White. This is 100% UV stability. Uh, it's very chip resistant, very chemical resistant. It is a single component, so there's no catalyst to it. We can brush it, roll it, or spray it on. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll get the can opened up. Of course, just wear our gloves and our glasses. Make sure we're, you know, we're messing with the chemical here. We want to be safe in the shop. Of course, it's a single component, so all our products are stir, no shake. So we get it all nice and stirred up. So there again, just about a quarter inch of product on the brush. And then what we want to do is just get up in there and give it one nice coat, one liberal coat. We don't want to lay it on too thick. And you can see the little difference there, how it's filling these little pieces right here in the front. When we put that first little coat on, where it just, it wicks right down in that seam. Okay, now we've got the diamond finish on there and it's all dry. We wanna make sure before we use the cavity coater that all our coatings or all our painting is done before we use this because a coating is not gonna to stick to this. So the cavity coater is great for those areas that we can't get up into. So, you know, using the wand that's 18 inches long, we can get up inside that cavity right there and seal that all off. We don't have to worry about taking this door panel off, so that'll save us some time and some effort like that. There's 90 square feet inside the can. Basically take care of, say, a box frame, but you can also put this on, say, your A-pillars, um, box frames, all those types of things. But it's also, it is uh, self-healing. The product uh, it displaces water, so it'll push it out of the way and it creeps very well. So if there was a foot from one side to the other and you sprayed it on this side, it would take somewhere between an hour to four hours it would come out the other side, depending on the tolerances. So basically what we can do is we just pull off the top and the wand, as you can see, it has this metal aluminum tube around the outside so that we can contort it and bend it the way we need to get up inside of there. So what we wanna do is get it up in there so it stays somewhat level. So what I'll do is hold it up there a little bit then I'll put a little bend to that metal of the aluminum that's on the outside. And basically it's a 1001, 1002. It'll cover about two feet. 
So, you know, just hold against it a little bit, keep the pressure on it, pull the trigger, 1001, 1002, that's about what we're looking for right there. And then what we'll do is we'll turn it around and we'll get up inside of there on this way and get this corner real good and all that seam that's right in there. And you can see it, how it runs out. And what you want to do is just wipe that access off. That's not going to hurt anything. So it'll wick down into all those pinch weld seams and all that. And there again, about 15 minutes, it'll stop. It'll stop leaching like that. It'll get much more tackier. And then you're pretty much well ready to roll. So, you know, we showed you the system sampler, our little kit that gives you the KBS clean, the rust blast and the rust seal, everything inside the kit. Of course, our diamond finish for our top coat, and we showed you the, the cavity coater for all those hard to reach spots. So always remember, we have all your restoration needs here at KBS Coatings. Rust stops here.